Yo, what's cracking, fools? You know who it is. Big Bad St. Rock back at it again, here with the high profile guest, Alex Flores. What's up, baby? What up, bro? Appreciate you having me. All right, now you got to do the intro. I already forgot what you said. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> what's up, fools? You know who it is. And then you say your name. You know, Chicago doesn't say fools like the West Coast. We just Coast. had that conversation. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. you do your intro. Yo, Listen. someone called me a fool on Instagram and I got offended. I was like, damn, that hurts. Did they put an L? Well, it depends. Did they put an L? Did they say F-O-O or F-O-O-L? I don't even know. If they put an L, that's disrespect. Oh, okay, okay. That's mad disrespect. I was like, damn, bro. <laughs> I'm not a fool. I, I thought I was... <laughs> All right, let's hear your intro, bro. How does it go? No, your intro. Oh. Little Village intro. Introducing myself? Yeah. yeah. What up, everyone? My name is Alex Flores. I'm from Little Village, 26th Street. Trying to do big things. All right, let's get into this, bro. First of all, thank you. Time, we As, a, as a creatives, time is one of our biggest assets. You know, so I appreciate your time, bro. Of course. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. I think when we first met, this is what, maybe four years ago? Mm -hmm. So like four years ago, when we first met, I was I was kind of like surprised at the, the work you were doing and the type of work you're doing because you're so soft-spoken and quiet. I feel like people in your field just go OD on like social media about everything, yeah. you know? But I think you you keep a lot in the tuck a little bit, like what you got going on. I do. So <laughs> we could, uh, we'll jump into it from the beginning, you know, kind of where you're from um, and how you got to where you're at now and then just kind of go from there. Sure. Appreciate your time, bro. Um, I'm a big fan of you and your work for real. That's how I met you because I went through Up to his volume. galleries and I would I would <laughs> want to check out your art. Couldn't mm -hmm. afford it back then, <laughs> but I wanted to see what it was about. And and you have a lot of talent, bro. So appreciate hey, that. No, nah, thank you, bro. That yeah. is how we met through like yeah. just the creative field and and being fans of each other. Yeah, really. yeah. So about me, my name is Alex Flores. I'm from Little Village, so I grew up in the Southwest Side. Um, I grew up there, no no sisters, all brothers. <laughs> yeah. um, I went to high school in the South Side by Curie High School. And then um, I studied design. Honestly, that was my my way out from the from the hood because I didn't have my own room. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a door in my room, bro. I had I shared a room with two brothers, so I wanted to leave that environment because um, I felt like I could have I was just eager for something else. So mm. I went to Champaign Urbana, which has a lot of And that was for high school or college? For college. For college. Like U of I. It's like two hours away. And mm. I, I wanted to study design. I would tell my my friends, like, yo, I wanna design the the laptop, the phone, the furniture. Like I don't know what that's called, but I wanna In do college, that. you were yeah. talking having these conversations? Yeah, yeah. Uh, How about let's take it back real quick. Um, so in high school, were you involved in any type of like uh, design, yeah. like classes or anything? Yeah, damn, I, I fast forward so quick. Yeah, you, you jump right over high school. <laughs> um, high school changed my life. I ain't gonna front. I, uh, I, but before I talk about the design classes, I started break dancing, bro. That's that right. That was literally the, the the savior of my life, G. Because like. Man, I was in a boat. Hip hop, hip hop. <laughs> no, I feel, I'm the same way, bro. I picked up yeah. uh, breaking in high school too. Yeah, and then like I don't know how it is in in where you're from, but in Chicago, like I was just in a bubble when I was in Little Village. So my my crew, I joined a crew, a dancing crew. They would take me to the North Side, to Rogers Park, to Midway, to to Hyde Park, to Humble Park, Logan Square. And I never went to those places when I was in high school because I was just like trapped in my in my neighborhood, and my parents didn't drive me there. So like, man, that right there, like for real, opened my eyes to a lot of things for di to diversity, to seeking knowledge, seeking growth, brotherhood, sisterhood, activism. All that shit started from hip hop for me. And you know like, what too, with hip hop or breaking, they have that culture. 
has its own look too, its own vibe, its own aesthetic, like how you look, like that b-boy style. Yeah, it does, you know? it does, for sure. And then like in that community, there's like subcultures and like, and so many like um, conversations on like the old ways of break dancing with the new ways. It's just a lot of layers. And I think that's really what opened my eye to like, man, shit is complicated, could be, but it could be beautiful, you know? So break dancing did that to me and like, while I was doing that, I went to Curie and I was low key, I was a nerd, bro. I had straight A's and no one knew that. None of my friends knew I had straight A's. Like like how you said in the beginning, I'm pretty low key with a lot of things. Mm-hmm. I don't like to brag and shit, but I had straight A's. I was a nerd, bro. And it just came easy to me. So um, in Curie, I don't know how it is now, but it has a way to like study a major. And I studied design and instead of taking art, music, I studied graphic design and architecture, so. Yeah. This, is, this is high school? High school. Yeah, you, you're in a program for three years, and uh, it's a double period. So junior and senior year and sophomore year, you're able to take a major. And I picked design, so I started learning how to use Photoshop, how to render buildings, how to do flyers for parties and all that stuff. And That's like, so dope. Yeah, what, what programs were you using back then? Adobe, bro, yeah. and AutoCAD. So like, you using AutoCAD? Yeah, bro. To design party flower, flyers? No, no, uh, <laughs> Photoshop for like oh, party yeah. flyers and, and uh, AutoCAD <laughs> to design like objects or buildings, like architecture. Yeah. Uh, but when I was getting older, I was like, man, I love this, but I don't want to design buildings. That's not my vibe. Like mm-hmm. I want to design like furniture. That's that's what I wanted to do. In high school, you had this? this I had uh, that mentality like when I was reaching at the end of my year. So I was asking around, man, like I didn't do the right Googling, but I, I never figured it out until I went to college. Like I yeah. want to design furniture. That's, that was what I was planning to do. Yeah. So, yeah. That's crazy to have that like light bulb moment in high school. In high school, I was like, oh my God, just let me graduate. Please, God, <laughs> please. So my mom don't, don't whoop me, you know? Yeah. So it's dope that you're able to, one, be exposed to that high school. Because yeah. I talked to a yeah. lot of CPS schools. And right now, they don't their programs aren't able to, like, enhance these students, you know, what they want to do. So I think that's super dope that you're able to yeah. have that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was very difficult. I think <clears throat> Curie had it, had it down. But, like, man, if we talk about grammar school, bro. I didn't have music class. We had, we were watching TV. There was literally zero instruments, zero art u- utensils. I went to Little Village, like Eli Whitney for, for grammar school. And like, ain't no, ain't no, it's not even, it wasn't K to six. It was K to eighth grade where, I, where yeah. I was at. And like, bro, we didn't have no fucking anything. Like it was, that's on the resource when I was there. Yeah. But when I went to high school, I started realizing like, man, some schools are funded differently, you know? Mm-hmm. So, okay, so you get exposed to it in high school. You go to, immediately after you graduate, that following year you go to college, college yeah. and you, you you already know what you want to do. Not so much. I was like, I just like designing. That's mm-hmm. what I was telling people. Like, what what is the major where I could design furniture, phones, and laptops? That's, that's what, I, that's, those are the questions I asked. And... Honestly, not That's a lot of so people knew. That's so dope that you even had that mentality yeah, to even think that you can do that. <laughs> a lot of people that come from our type of backgrounds, yeah. we don't even think to, I can do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. So that that you already had that mentality from the jump. I was always ambitious know? for some reason. Like, I didn't know how I was going to get it done, but I at least wanted to try it, you know? Yeah, like, but your head was already there. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was dope. Yeah, actually. I, I didn't even learn what a... Uh, an architect or engineer actually does until like recently. Yeah. Like, oh, like, it, like it took me to actually like physically see somebody do that work on the, the computer. And outs of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, that's what you do? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. How much somebody showed me that a long time ago? Yeah. Yeah. It was very helpful when Curie taught me that. But I mean, even though it taught me that, I was blind to everything. I didn't, I don't know what engineering was. I don't know what business or accounting was. Like people were like, I want to be an accountant. I didn't even know yeah. what an accountant does. Like I swear to God, bro. Like, <laughs> Man, like I was, I was good in high school, but I, I also had this side where I would party a lot. So like, um, I would go to Humble Park or Logan Square and party a lot. And but that also introduced me to other worlds, like music, and like a culture of like, like an underground culture. And I thought yeah. that was dope too. So 
I, I always felt like I'd lived two lives. Like I was a big ass nerd in school, mm-hmm. getting straight A's, but I was chilling with like the hoodies motherfuckers in Chicago, just like trying to party and like yeah. running into like the wrong people all the time. Yeah. That's dope, man. That's, yeah. I mean, that's so much of what our lives are, the duality of like, yeah. what, you know what I mean? Yeah. Your environment, but then also like your ambitions. Yeah. All right. So you're in, you're in college, you're learning about design. And then how was that experience? Was it good, bad? Man, did, it, did you feel like it really helped you a lot or you kind of just got through it? I wouldn't say going to college helped me as a, as a person, but mm. going to that major in school, it didn't get me to where I'm at now. It was really like my hustle, I would say. And um, when I was in college, bro, I was, I was an outsider, bro. Even people from, I couldn't get along with other Latinos over there, bro, because they were joined fraternities or, or sororities. And, and I was here going to art school. I sort of got, I had graphics. I also had a tail in college. I didn't really get along with a lot of people because again, I had two worlds. Like yeah. I had this mentality that I, I was such a city person and I don't vibe with anyone here. It was, it was a toxic ment- mentality, but I carried myself like that in college. And you kind of get that like turtle mentality where it's like, let me just shell in what I know and what keeps me safe. Yeah, it was a defense mechanism for sure because I didn't want to meet people that I thought they were corny to me. Like I was just like, I had a really bad mentality, I would say. I take you off your square, what you're trying to do. You're yeah, like, yeah. Cause like, I, was, I know what I'm trying to accomplish here. Yeah, it was just like, I was naive and young, but like, yeah, I, I, I was very like, there was a lot of condescending people in college, I would say, because U of I is like engineering business. Mm-hmm. And then when I would introduce myself, I would be like, I'm in art school. They would be like, I, I, I just felt it. It was like. Judged? It, I felt very judged, bro. Mm-hmm. But I I knew what I wanted to accomplish. And it took years to get there. But like, I just felt judged. And like, an, I felt like an outsider when I was at U of I. Because you, they didn't, you didn't look like the part of what that student yeah like. and like there was they're like, praying on your downfall yeah yeah like that's how they, be, they bro. just that's they how just they think like you should to in order to succeed you should go to engineering go to business or or these other majors and yeah. i wasn't about that or i didn't join a fraternity I, I just couldn't fuck with that vibe and like so in college you as far as like the social aspect of it you weren't really vibing with it but did you take away a lot from it? Like, would you advise a younger you to, yeah, go through college or no? That's a hard question, bro, because it's different now than Mm -hmm. it was before, man. I don't think you need a college degree to do what I do now. So, yeah, before I used it as a a way to escape my neighborhood, bro, and and that served me good. Mm -hmm. But while I was there, I also went through a lot of challenges, you know? But... When I got out of there, I was a better person for sure. Mm-hmm. So I don't advise anyone to go to college to just get a degree and expect a job. That's not, I don't think that's what it's for anymore. So um, it just depends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And so how long did it take you to finish or get your degree? Four or six years? Two? Oh, I got my master's too. So. You got your oh, master's? What? Yeah. I, <laughs> I went to school for a while, but after in college, I met my homie Zhang. Everyone, uh, he's another artist. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Zhang. He's the homie. Shout out to Zhang. He he was a hustler too, and he like moved to LA. So and moved to yeah. LA. We'll take our shout out back. <laughs> <laughs> nah, if you're, if you're listening, bro, shout out to you doing the yeah, thing. Yeah, he's real talented, and and we click because he's from the city, and like mm-hmm. everyone else was from the suburbs, and like um, he kept me sane during like. A lot of times in the art studio, like when we would just like design all night. Um, so yeah, I was there for four years, I think. And like, I went to, I moved to New York and I got my first design job. I was working for this company called Nuka. So you went from Chicago, big city. To Brooklyn. To the suburbs, little suburb, <laughs> little and suburb. then to the big the big apple yeah so how was how was all that <laughs> new york was fire i ain't gonna lie i met a lot of international people i live in brooklyn and i would take the train to manhattan and 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 it's a it's a life that i understand like a very mm. like quick life like you don't have to be home all night all day you could move around and maneuver yeah. 
and that's what New York is. And, and it was dope. I was there for like a year and then I, I quit that job and I came back to Chicago. And I, Why'd you quit? I, uh, I went, I came back to get my master's degree. Okay. Same, well, same college. Sorry. No. Nah. What made you want to get your master's? Um, at the time I wanted something else. I wanted to be a little bit more involved in my community and like giving back. And I actually wanted to be a teacher, man, for, for a while. So I, I went to this special program at the Art Institute of Chicago to, I kind of like in a way merged two majors and I studied, I kept des- studying design and, and I wanted to be a teacher. That's so dope. I did that. I graduated with Kanye because Kanye was part of my oh, I remember that. honorary I doctor's remember that. degree. All, yeah. Alma mater. Yeah. So he was, a, he was part of my 2015 he gave class. A speech. Yeah. He gave a speech. Yeah. Inspiring. Um, the day before it was inspiring during yeah. not so much. Mm. He gave a private one that I was invited to. And that one was dope. Real dope. How do you get invited to that? My homie Angel. I don't know if you know Angel. Oh. She's, she, uh, she, uh, from Hyde Park worked at yeah. Soho House. She was at the Art Institute and she's friends with, with some artists. Those people? Yeah. Oh, that's dope, so man. I got an invite. <laughs> I feel it. Um... What were we Shout saying? out to Angel. Shout out to Angel. No, too. I was just curious about why you want or why you pursued a master's yeah, degree. Yeah, I but. think uh, I wanted to switch it up. And during my master's degree, I started doing a lot of web design and apps, and that that also changed the the path I was following. Like, I started creating some insane designs on on apps, like on mobile screens, because it it was just popular back then. And it wasn't like some decent ones. Like I would go all out in my class and the whole class would hate me because how much effort I would put in, bro. <laughs> I was like, yo, if I'm doing this shit, I'm going to do it the right way. And right. like, you're going to go crazy. You put your heart into I it. Put, yeah. yeah, I put my heart into it. And, and I created some dope shit that landed me some some jobs, I would say, you know? Yeah. Off of the like school projects? Yeah, yeah. So you took that as like kind of your resume or portfolio? Yeah. And then how did it, how did you? get your jobs I, I got a little agency job and then I was only there for like six months and then I finally moved to General Electric and I think that's when I met you around that time so this is like corp this was like my mm-hmm. corporate phase of my life I, I joined GE I was designing web applications and mm-hmm. it was decent like I would travel every month and I thought I was a shit back then but Traveling. Yeah, like the every, they would fly me. I would fly out every month, like yeah. every month, going to Texas, San Francisco, LA. Have you ever? Have you ever tweeted, "Catch flights, not feelings." Nah, but during I, that time, I bet you did. Nah, but <laughs> I, I recently said that to my friend, and I was all like, "I'm gonna go back to my 2014 Tumblr yeah, vibes." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> take it back. Yeah, Yo, take it back Tumblr. to the Tumblr quotes. Yep, yep, yep. You know, you got to get some Drake, Drake lyrics out there every yeah, now and then. Yeah, I just did one. <laughs> yeah, earlier. Yeah, yeah earlier. <laughs> so, okay, so this was, so when we met maybe four or five years ago, yeah. and you were at GE. Yeah. And then I was just like, boring, like, what is GE, you know? Because yeah. you don't really think like. It was boring, I ain't going to lie. Yeah, but I, okay, but I didn't really think that. You, someone like you, would be at GE right, at right. a dope position, like doing with applying your skills and yeah, your talents. Yeah. So, but it it definitely did open up my eyes. Like that's dope that you can take yeah. someone like you going and getting that that job. You yeah, know? it was a very corporate job, but in that position, I was a designer. So in a way, I was a creator. Mm-hmm. So again, it was like this weird world where I, the way I would dress up, the earrings I would wear, the haircuts I would wear, I was the only one doing it in the yeah. whole building. So, yeah. um, my teammates wouldn't understand me and my manager was cool, but other people I know, I know they were giving me the side like, eye, but who is I don't guy? care. Like I, I stopped giving a fuck about like, um, sw- uh, code switching and I wanted yeah. to be more of myself. Bro, that's so dope. Cause I think we all deal with that in some way yeah. where we feel like we have to code switch a yeah. little bit, whether it's in our, the way we conduct ourselves in public, yeah. the way we are. But for me, I'm learning, man, I just got to be super, uh, like just confident in who I am because my talent backs up, you know, yeah. my talent backs it all up. And I think that's what's dope with you. 
you dress however you're, maybe there's people that didn't agree with it yeah. or like you shouldn't show up to work like this but your talent is what kept you there no matter what yeah 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 appreciate that yeah that's that's what it was like especially as a designer it don't matter what you wear bro it's the mm. output your work because like right. it's not like a a business person where you got to dress up and be in front of the some important people we're more behind the scenes like mm -hmm. designing with photoshop or or figma or whatever it is so i did that and around that time that's that's when i met you and i started i guess hanging with the creative community like because i created this app that served artists and photographers and that app is called scroll so um i launched it like i would say with the the hype community and mm -hmm. maybe that was a mistake i don't know but um around that time i launched it like in 2018 i joined like this entrepreneur class and i wanted to be an entrepreneur now so i got and this was just while you're still working at ge on your personal time type of thing yeah yeah i told myself like everybody would be like my roommates at the time would be like yo you talented you should start your own agency but i was like i don't want to start an agency I want to make bread when I sleep. And that's what I told them. And to this day, that stayed true. So like <laughs> a, fast forward a couple of years ago, and I must still talk about before, but like we reached over a million downloads and like, Ooh, no, let's talk about right now. Oh, yeah. A million downloads, baby. A million downloads. We had celebrities. Are you one of the million? Yeah. Okay. We had celebrities <laughs> like use our app. And like, that's how I started getting a reputation, I guess. I don't really care about the reputation. I care yeah. about the work I produce which like I, I believe in branding and that's why mine was branded a little bit different. Like I told everyone, like, I don't want this to look like a tech company. Like this mm. has to have like more human connection and more about the people. And I want to brand it like that. And that's why I would, ours was a little bit different than the other ones. Like the other ones just had like the regular fonts, the regular, interface that copied everything like i switched it up and put like photography and artists in the forefront instead of the the application and it did well for us man like yeah like yeah all right all right let's take it back a little bit because you say it very nonchalantly that you founded and developed this app <laughs> the way i'll talk about like oh yeah i sketched something up like you know like it's so common to you that it's not that common to everybody. Like, I don't mm, know too many people. Was hard. You know what I mean? So t talk me through that process of the of the beginning of it. When you had the aha moment, like, yo, I want to do yeah, this. So, and then how it developed. Like, was it, yeah. I had this idea, let me do it. And boom, it's up. Or was it kind of like, I have this idea. No, that's the wrong way. Let me team up with this. No, that's the wrong way. Um, so the way it started was when I was traveling with GE, I remember I was in Atlanta. And I really liked the vibes in Atlanta. Like, I, th I met some dope people, went to some dope shops. And I started taking pictures with my, with my iPhone. And I took too many pictures that, that time when I traveled mm -hmm. that I wanted to create, like, this carousel, th carousel thing on Instagram. Like, I'm not, I want to post about Atlanta, but not just one picture. It's like, all these pictures yeah. told a story of what I did in Atlanta. But if you just swipe left and go picture after picture, I don't think it told the right story. So what I did is I went to Photoshop and I created this collage like that had videos and pictures all stacked and everything connected. Once you swipe, it was all seamless. I posted it and like like 20 people DM me like, yo, how you do that? How you do that? How yeah. you do that? And before I, you I tell them or no? Yeah, I gave, them, I gave them the Photoshop template. I'm like, like, nah, just. You ain't, you ain't getting this sauce. I give him the yeah. sauce. I give him the sauce. Like, only certain people. You're too nice, bro. I even sat down with people. That he's like, yo, I wanna, he was like, yo, come through to Soho House. I want to meet you. How did what? you do this? And before, I was like, oh, shit, Soho House. I'm going to teach this boy how to do this shit. Yeah. Thinking I had a cloud and shit. But then I was like, yo, you know what? That's pretty cloudy. Yeah. It's very cloudy. <laughs> yeah, cloudy. <laughs> like, like this cloudy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... I was like, yo, I, not a lot of people have Photoshop, first of all. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of people know how to do it if they have Photoshop. And right. it takes like 10, 15 minutes to do this. So I just said to myself, I'm going to create an app, not knowing what the fuck I was doing, bro. And, uh, and I started designing from my background. I, I actually created an app for my, for my college, you know, from, so I was like, it's not that 
intimidated, so I'm gonna just go. And I know that I know this guy that codes strictly for iPhone, and I was like, yo, I have this concept, and I just didn't tell him like, yo, I got this idea, bro. Like, I wanted to create it in a prototype and design and show him how everything would work. So it wasn't just like I had this idea. Like I had I had the blueprint already for him, and. So the blueprint was ready and I was like, I'll go 50-50 with you because just because I came with, came up with this idea, I'm not going to go 80, was, 20. Was this person a friend or somebody that friend. you knew? Okay. Yeah, he's a friend. And he's the only guy that I knew that did coding that kind of, I knew he would like to do side projects. Other yeah. people are just stuck to their nine to five. Right. This guy, he kind of had some similarities. Like his name is Anthony. He would listen to like similar music. Um, his roommates were really dope yeah. and I was like, yo, I want to work with this guy. So we got, so how was that process? It was hard, like bro. I'm not going to yeah. lie. Cause like, I don't know what I was doing. I, I delivered some stuff to him wrong at first. Cause I never worked with the iPhone before, but we made it through, bro. We just be I, persistent. Bro. How many just, versions of the app did you have? Of, right now it's version six. So um, we we at first we were like let's let's create this beta in a way like where it don't have to look good it's just a functionality. Yeah. After that we launched version one and and we got more serious and then we started getting more downloads and like now it's like let's talk let's think business we can make money off this and we started selling templates and we started getting more money and more users. I think at around the time we had like. I don't know how many users actually like it was definitely like an I don't even know bro like but once we had that um, number amount of users we we're like I think we need a subscription model because now we have all these templates and I don't want to charge too much I just want to charge like 15 bucks a year and after that it just kind of blew up bro like yeah. everything blew up after that so you're doing subs subscriptions right now yeah 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 15 bucks 15 bucks a year for what what does that get me uh, you're at, able to add video, have all access to templates, and and more features that the free users don't have. And and people respond to that pretty well. A lot, yeah. A lot. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so you, you when was this sub subscription? September. Sub oh, so you just started yeah, doing yeah, it oh, last okay. year. Um. So, and then that actually, like, yo, it went well, like. After that, like people realizing there's a lot of public information. I don't know how certain companies know, but you could Google an app and see how much revenue they make a month. Mm -hmm. It's kind of crazy. It's what? it's all public. It's Look sometimes up, uh, it's Scent Rock Talks. How much you? <laughs> Low key. <laughs> it's it's kind of crazy, but like I guess people were looking at my app and yeah. there was a talk about acquiring me. So like what oh, that means what? is like a bigger company is gonna buy us out. Yeah. That was in September. And How do you think these people found you? We have, bro. We have like close to five stars in the in the app store. We have. You think a, there's people that just people look for just, that stuff? Yeah, yeah. People yeah. just look All for organic, it. Organic, probably. Yeah, we don't know where they are in the world, but people are looking for sure. Yeah, that's what they wanna. They wanna buy an app that's already polished, and so they don't have to build it from the ground up, and they have the resources to like make it better. So we had an acquisition talk last year in September, <laughs> right before we launched. The subscription, subscription. Yeah. and they offered us a lot of money. I ain't gonna front, and we said no to them. So what? <laughs> yeah. What gives you the audacity to say no? I'm confident. Yeah, yeah. you yeah, are yeah, very humble. I, I know. That. I know my value, bro. Like, I'm not. I don't think local. I think very global. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then things started to good. Good after subscription. Like, man, we were making. I was making more money than I made my in my nine to five, bro. And off subscription. And then that's when I quit GE last last year. I was like, yo, I'm making more bread than GE. Yeah. And um So you quit GE? I quit GE. So you're full time scroll? So I'm almost there. Oh, so, right, hold on. Wait. All right. So you quit GE. Yeah. And then what'd you do? Um I started dedicating my time to my app. And I actually Was this before or after that? the that they came to with the acquisition after after because so before like, we didn't we haven't even launched subscription yeah and 
we said no to them because it's like mm. our app is going to be more valuable after. Right. And it was just a tough decision because it was good money, but we know the value that we're going to bring after we offer subscription. Right. So That's I quit so my dope. job. And while I was not working, Facebook reached out to me. Mm. And I, I, it was a contract, so I knew I had I'm flex- listening. <laughs> <laughs> so I joined Facebook for a while. Like it was just a contract, and I knew it wasn't a, a, a full time, so I don't have I to. I remember that. Yeah. I remember you flew out of San Francisco for a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've that, been keeping track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he got eyes. Yeah, I saw you. I, saw, I was like, oh, what's yeah, he up to? So, <laughs> so I was doing some, side, some stuff for Facebook as a contractor, and you like it over there? I quit. You quit? Yeah. Sil- Silicon Valley and Fuel? I quit. Yeah. I quit. Not your vibe. So, um, fast forward, we get another acquisition offer, fast bro. Fast forward to where? Because like, this is since September. That's only been what? Like two months ago. Like, let's okay, say, so let's say February, March. Oh, so this is brand new. Brand new, bro. We get another person, a company that wants to acquire us. How, do you, how, do, how does a company acquire? Because... Is it through phone Under or a lot email? of lawyers? Yeah. Or through your lawyers? A lot of lawyers. We have to have I'm trying a lawyer. To figure it out, make sure my phone's working. <laughs> so I'm trying to make sure I get some acquisitions. Bro, yes, it's possible. <laughs> so this time the money damn near double from the first offer. Same same people reach out to different, different company. People. And so I like this. Yeah, part of me not being part of the last podcast is because I was dealing with lawyers, bro. I basically sold my company. You sold your company? I sold my company for seven figures. <laughs> seven figures? How many figures is what? that? <laughs> Hell yeah, congrats, bro. Thank you, bro. That's amazing. Congrats, baby. Yeah, We're about to get some champagne after this. You, you said that he was humble. Hey, Shereen, get the bubbly. But you are for real. You're, you are very humble. Thank you, bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't, Everything you're mentioning, it's like, wait. Wait, wait so wait, you wait. sold it officially? I sold it officially. If you look up my oh, company, man. it's not... It I'm, delete, I'm deleting the app right it now. It doesn't say Skrull LLC anymore, but I mean... Let me see. It, well, it was it was another decision we had to make because there's other people that want to buy you, but when other people want to buy you, they don't have an interest to grow the app. They just want to make money off it. Mm, so they want to run it into the ground. Yeah, this company was like, I think I know how to grow it, and they have other apps that have good reputation. So with that in mind, I don't want to lose the integrity of the brand, and that's why it was a good oh. fit to 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 sell it to that company. They they carry themselves really well. They have successful apps. They don't do any corny things. Cocoa and pods. No. Nah. No, I don't know. Says it right. <laughs> no. What's this? Look okay. at. Oh uh, no no! You have to go to the app store now. Oh, oh. yeah. That is the old one. No nah, no, nah, it still wouldn't say it there. Like, oh, okay. so if you go to the app store, it won't say scroll LLC. It would say the new company. And it was a good fit, man. They're really talented, and they're actually from Sweden. And um, so, yeah, bro, I just did that literally last week. <laughs> last week? That's, crazy, That's why you blew me off? You yeah. Me seven I was figures? like, I can't mention it now because it was the, still the like, lawyers were still talking. We had to exchange the trademark. Yeah. Man, it was the craziest was, month of my life. Was yeah. that the first time you kind of dealt with the lawyers and stuff like that? In that, uh, in that kind of... Um, I worked with lawyers list? before because of trademarks and other things, but this oh. one was serious. Like, we had to read an agreement. We wrote ours. They wrote theirs. Mm. It was like, yo, that is not my world. And then but you I, had to like meet in the middle. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. So like, it was dope though. Like, did I'm you had the counter. Yes, yeah, yeah, sort of. Yeah, it was a good conversation, man. There, there's a right fit. Like, I yeah. wouldn't want to. We would really have to blow it up to sell it to a company that I would want to sell it to. But yeah. um, the CEO of that company is really smart and. Yeah, man. Really good dude. Yo, that's dope, man. So are you still going to be a part of like the creative process at all? Or uh, I it's, sold everything. It's completely... It's not mine anymore. Damn. Yeah. So now what, bro? Just... I'm working on my second app already. That's what's up. <laughs> that's tight. Yeah, yeah you go straight tight. straight to work. Straight to work. I don't, I don't waste time. On top of that... Is it because you already have ideas or is it because it's so in your DNA? What should I do next? Nah, so that's a good question because I actually was working on my second app last year. Okay. And I wish I was able to launch it already, but... I, I kind of started delegating some work for my apps grow. I was like, yo, can you help me with this? We'll, we started hiring contractors, 
But um, it would still take a lot of energy from me. Like I had to now look over the creative direction, do all these business conversations about the company. And I couldn't even start my second app. So uh, part of that decision was also to finally like launch the second app that I've been trying to launch. Yeah. yeah. So how, all right, let's get into this. So yeah. how's this, how's that going? It's here? dope. We started coding it already. It's just going to be a different vibe. It's going to be a- With your same partner? As the same partner. We're going 50-50 again, bro. Dope. Um, That's tight. Yeah, and and we have we yeah. have bigger goals, like very bigger goals, a bigger budget, obviously, now that we could fund ourselves instead of looking for funding. And this this time is going to be a photography app. The other one, I considered it a graphic design app. Mm-hmm. And in the app store, it does say a graphic design app because you kind of have to, like, put some work. You got to, like, take two minutes out of your time to to um, do something in the mm-hmm. collage. This one, I want to take the effort down and and do all the work for them. So it's going to be low effort, but as as dope again, aesthetically. Well, you know what's crazy about your last app, uh, Scroll, is it was very low effort for what you were getting, you know, the end result. Yeah, yeah. You know, and because I think that's what made it so dope is that you understood the everyday person, how they're going to use it. And you're giving them, her, I know what you want to do. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. And I feel like sometimes with designers they're very like no come to me the way i do it this is how it should be done as opposed to like no let me let me help you out yeah yeah that's a good point and i learned that through like facebook ge that it's not about the way i would do it it's about the users and and it's kind of like like a teacher when when they would do a test and everybody will fail is it the teacher's fault or is it the student's fault i think it's a teacher's fault and that's the way i I have that yeah, mentality. Because sometimes in school, it's like, learn this way. We want you to learn and read and understand stuff this way. Yeah. yeah. And that's just, you know, it's a very old model sometimes. It's a very old model. So, like, same thing for me. Is it my fault that I have an app that people don't know how to use? or mm-hmm. And that's the same mentality I have. I want to have a something that people know how to use instead yeah. of, like, making it cool. Yeah. So, how much of this second app can we talk about? Um, I mean... Uh, it's just me and my homie so it's not a lot of nda stuff it's like yeah. it's not like the the type of stuff i signed less right like other times <laughs> but you still want to keep it's still close to you it's yeah still... yeah so i was yeah because not a lot of this exists right now like i looked mm-hmm. i did my research and there's some features that we're launching that exist but there's this one unique feature that we that i want to target that i have not seen another app do and part of the game in the app world, just like hip hop or whatever, people are going to copy you straight off the bat. We had a lot of people that copied Scroll. But again, yeah. like the way we pride ourselves is through branding, integrity, marketing, and having a non-techy tech app. Like we, we don't want to put ads anywhere. What time is it? I don't want to take too much of time. Uh, a few more minutes. Yeah, yeah. But um, so how do you, how do you, you mentioned, all right, I understand the branding part, but how do you market an app or how do you market what you're doing let's say for the second app you're doing how would you market it um there's a lot in the tech world that i learned so like one of them being this thing called seo Mm -hmm. search engine optimization like whenever people type collages iphone Mm -hmm. you're able to write certain keywords on your website or on your app so you could come on top of that list and that's one way of doing it and if I'm, i'm not a writer I could hire someone to like help me with this copy. Right. These are the keywords that I want to pop when someone Googles right. me or Google or searches something on the iPhone app store. So that's one way. The second way is like building a community mm-hmm. organically and people are going to use your app. And if you think about hashtags and I don't know, like honestly, marketing is not my my expertise but we, that's some things that we did and is it also, something that you feel like you had to do because i feel like the first to. one i would be having whole conversations with you and then it's like you wouldn't even mention it like it's like somebody talking to me and i never mentioned my art you know i never tell them like i'm doing this stuff for my work yeah i'm like that <laughs> <laughs> so how did i guess i'm conf- not confused but Same. like that's crazy that you're so quiet about it, but then it just blew oh, up and we, skyrocketed. We do the work behind the scenes. Yeah. So like, again, like SEO ads, um, think about a strategy on hashtags. And then you mentioned earlier, I think just organic community. Organic. Yeah. That's yeah. difficult to 
Start that's the or? hardest one. But I think what worked for us is that we built it a, a brand that was respectable and not mm-hmm. corny and tacky and no ads everywhere. And I right. think that for builds sure. organic community. You're like, oh, this app is looks kind of dope. They don't have ads anywhere. And, and I like the images they use. And if you go on Instagram, they repost your work. It's, you could build communities that way or different ways. But that was one we'll way. Always ask, like, oh, how'd you do that? How'd you use to do? Would you use to do that? You know, and you yeah. just it's easy once. That's the biggest thing I think. Word of mouth of like, word of mouth. People are asking about that's, it. That's the one know? that takes you further. And like TikTok was like taking us further by people were making videos for of us, and they would get like five hundred thousand views, oh, wow. and like we would see the spike in the downloads, and like TikTok really helped us too, man. Like. Yeah. And then like Daddy Yankee used our app and he got like 50 something million followers. I, okay. What? So how do you know they use your app? Because it says scroll on the, te- the template he used uh-huh. is my template I designed, uh-huh. which says scroll on the template. And that was another strategy. We want to put, we want to put a little watermark, but not where it looks corny, but it, right. that's part of the template. That's dope. Yeah. And, and so every template, if I were to go right now, I know you sold it, but if I were to go right now, every template that's on there is that directed by you in some way I, yeah i created yeah. most of them and i'm not going to take credit like jake a graphic designer i, mm-hmm. I hired he helped me a lot with designing yeah. templates like he's more of the graphic design side and i designed the app you know oh that's dope man. yeah so but now it's like i the, on the same month like i'm now i'm trying to venture out i'm trying to be a real entrepreneur so part of what i'm doing now is i'm trying to be an investor and mm-hmm. and I actually invested on a hotel even before I sold my app. So I'm part owner of a hotel in Mexico City. So like I I always dream of just being an entrepreneur, bro. Like I just yeah. wanna I'm not meant for a nine to five like that. I just I wanna yeah. I wanna move around certain ways. Especially if you look at the world in a completely different way, you know? There's no point of bottling what you have. Yeah. Like that's so dope, man. Yeah, man. So I wanna venture out even from the app. The tech role, like I, I told all my homies that I want to create a cologne and yeah. I don't know, maybe not this year, I'm not in a rush or maybe next year I want to create a cologne. So that's my next pro- project. It might not give me the same money Scroll gave me, but yeah. it'll be a dope project for me because I went to art school at the end of the day. Like yeah. I don't want to be stuck in a one even One if it don't smell good, I'm sure the bottle looks super dope. <laughs> you know, right? It smells like it smells like curd the from the bottle and looks <laughs> I just <laughs> like. <laughs> All right. One last question: What what cologne are you wearing right now? Oh, I'm wearing one from Mexico City. It's called uh, Zeno. Zeno. Yeah, it's really dope, bro. Okay. Really dope from Mexico City. The presentation was fire. Um, all the architects and designers. There's some, they hired architects from Mexico City to design the bottle. The bottle is reusable. You could do it as a plant. And I really like that brand. That brand that's inspires dope. me a lot. Yeah. That's yeah. what it's about, I think, you know? Yeah. So. All right, Zach. It's so much, right? I feel Dude. like you have so much, Dude, but yeah, I know yeah. I have to cut yeah, it out somewhere. Oh, my God. Yeah, bro. So that's my story. I think I <laughs> talked a little bit too much about my break on it first, but... About what? My background, like college and all that. Nah, because now I, I have, man, this, this year has been important. crazy. For our, for our listeners, that's of super important. Bro. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I think our listeners like to know the upbringing. How, where'd you come from? Yeah. You know, because that, in a way, that shapes all of us. Yeah, Little know? Village, bro. I go, I'm every there. I'm there like three times a week still for my family still lives there. Yeah. Yeah. So, man. All right. Anything else? No, I appreciate y'all. Is listening. there anything else you wanted to say? I feel like you said like a million things that. Oh, <laughs> uh, I know. I made a tweet. I was like, "Oh, I'm going to LA, going to Mexico City, New York," yeah. and you're like, "Cap." No, because you said <laughs> I'm going to New York, LA, Mexico City. All business, no vacation. All business, no vacation. Yeah, and it's true because right, in LA, I'm gonna work my first, my second app. My yeah. co-founder lives in LA, and we're gonna celebrate. Yeah. The, the acquisition yeah hell yeah mexico city um i gotta go see the hotel actually because when we went the restaurants weren't open yet and mm. i already signed a contract i'm a shareholder so i want to check it out i want to yeah. eat there and new york i want to do my first big investment and there's a company that i'm eyeing and i'm a i'm gonna go for a meeting hopefully yeah that's dope <laughs> yeah, bro man. and uh you know i like trolling you 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's cool because... Since day one. Since it's day cool one, because I, mean, I actually like it because, like, no one knows what I'm up to. Like, yeah. it's just, it, I don't know. Like, I don't really care if no one knows. <laughs> I'm just like, I do it for okay. me and my family. I super yeah. appreciate that, bro. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, let the work speak for yourself. Yeah, bro. Of course, bro. I don't I don't want to brag or seek validation or mm-hmm. or attention, you know? I'm just... right. I love my life. I love what I do, bro. <laughs> and you're living off what you love to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the biggest message we could say to everybody who listens to these podcasts. Yeah, you know? yeah. I feel like everybody wants to know, how do I put my passions and live off of it? Yeah, it's possible. At whatever level it is, how Very do you pay possible. your bills off of what you love doing? And I've been trying to get into more engagements. Like I did uh, Martin West, East. I don't know which one. East, Martin East. And I want to talk to... People that grew up like me, bro, because, like, but I don't really know anyone, so I was like, I don't know how to get there, so, like, if anyone will help me, I'm down to give back. Like, I want to share my story. A lot of people tell me, share your story, and I would rather share it to the youth than, like, social media, you know? Like, social media, like, I don't really care, like, what people... Keep on swiping. Yeah, yeah, like, I want to actually, I don't know, like, make a difference, you know, and touch someone. You want to connect with yeah, like real genuine people that don't that grow up like me. <laughs> All right, cut. <laughs> <laughs>